What's up, guys? My name is Patrick, and I have Grow Some Balls, and I also have Living Oddities TV on YouTube. And believe it or not, I'm next up. what's up everyone welcome back to another episode of next up yes next up is the youtube series i do where i bring someone either about to start their channel or have started their channel this year do a little interview with them get to know them a little bit and then we send you over to watch their channel or subscribe to their channel and check out their videos today we got patrick how you doing patrick awesome absolutely awesome, awesome. All right. Thanks for coming on. Thanks for being a guest. Thanks Greatly for appreciate me. it. No problem. We, we've we been talking about getting you started your channel, and we've finally done it. Super excited. <laughs> yeah, it is. You, your channel is going to be not only ball pythons, but you're going to have a lot of other stuff people should be interested in checking out. Um, yeah. You're a chef, so you're going to be cooking amazing food. People are going to get to see that. I'm excited. You know you be making some stuff that looks delicious. Uh, you be putting it in the um, Instagram group, so we be looking at it. I'm like, oh, <laughs> now I'm hungry. Now Patrick's got me hungry. <laughs> and I only got McDonald's over here. I only got McDonald's. He's He's got some nice sushi over there because I do love sushi. Sushi is delicious. Um, but, yeah, Patrick, thanks for coming on. We're going to talk to you, get to know you a little better. Um, and then we're going to send people over your channel. Go hit that subscribe button on Patrick's channel. The link is down in the description down below, Living Oddities TV. Definitely hit that subscribe button. Patrick, are you ready for people to get to know a little more about you? Absolutely, man. There's a lot. All right, All right. let's get going. Hit with us with the first question. How long have you been breeding reptiles? So, honestly, this will be my second season. Um, you know, I kind of jumped into this thing, you know, feet first. Um, like, truth be told, I'll, I'll tell you a little bio. Um, I was addicted to opiates for almost uh, almost 15 years. Um, so that being said, you know, I went to rehab, got cleaned up, married an awesome woman that helped me realize that I had problems. Um, but you know, I still had that obsessive compulsive like behavior. Like I had to, I had to do something. Mm -hmm. you know? I, I um, before I had kids, I had reptiles. I had a um, I had a retic. I had four ball pythons, uh, a couple iguanas, you know, a partridge and a pear tree. Yeah. <laughs> um, so and you know, having kids and having family, but now I, I, I realize, you know, now that I'm sober and 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 everything, you know, I've been you know clear and sober for almost two years now, but I'm ready for that zoo again. Like I realize okay. this, I, like I, I see the animals out there, you know, I mean, I, 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 I play with the snakes that I find. I mean, I live on, you know, like a big wooded lot, so like two acres. Um, so, you know, there's always some kind of animal, whether it be a hawk flying in the tree or whether it would be, you know, a snake that I found or, or, or whatever. Um, so, yeah, I mean, it just kind of reignited my passion so you know i got a couple ball pythons and i was like man i wonder if i can do this mm -hmm. and um, i ended up having my first clutch last year that was an 11 egg clutch and every one of them was successful beautiful healthy babies um, nice. I've, got, I've got one female left and actually that's going to our buddy keys constrictors yeah um so that'll be an orange dream yellow belly um, yeah, which they that that is for his thousand subscriber giveaway, right? No, that's just because I love him and uh, he oh, okay, that's animals. just out of love. Okay, oh yeah, yep, I got that's you, got dog, you, man. <laughs> yeah. Gotcha. Uh, you well, know, he, he, probably he, when this comes out, they probably already hit a thousand, so they're probably working on trying to get to two thousand. So definitely go hit that follow button 
over at Keys Constrictors YouTube channel. Absolutely. Shout out to my boy. So I'm, I'm, I'm putting that into existence. They're already at 1,000. Now they're going for two. So, yeah, shout out. No, but go but ahead. Go have, ahead. Um, I do have a, um, a mystery egg up for grabs. Okay. For his uh, for his giveaway. Okay. Okay. Sounds cool. Sounds cool. Which, right. by the time this is out, somebody's had that mystery. If I remember to put it on there, I will put it up who got that egg, if I remember Hopefully, I, mean, I remember. It's, I'm going um, to tell Patrick to tell me to remember. It's, it's, yeah, I'm, I'm going to have to tell you about it. I mean, I, I, I just hope that they don't get the egg that I need. <laughs> uh, understandable. <laughs> understandable. Uh, I'm, I mean, as soon as I see him drop, I'm just going to mark one, and that's going to be it. Yeah, yeah. So, so do you think the animals, you wanting to get back into the animals is actually helping you through your sobriety, definitely. Well, in you the know, process it's, of that. It's, it's it's all about keeping in the positive. Yep. You know, and and the honestly, I was so overwhelmed when I, you know, when I, I made an Instagram channel. I'm like, hi, my name's Pat. I've got grow some balls, and let me tell you something. I don't know a damn thing about this, but we're gonna do it anyway. <laughs> um. Jumping in head first. <laughs> oh, I mean, absolutely, head first. So, I mean, here I am, and, and everybody's like, "Who is this kid? Who is this? like, well, like, what's the? Well, wow!" And he's got and he's got a flipping big rat on his shoulder, and, and I mean, you know, it, everybody kind of was like, "Wow!" I mean, taken by storm. Um, but I, I I thank everybody, you know, because y'all pushed me it's like you pushing me to do my youtube channel you know that that's that's what you need you know you yeah. just need that little push over the edge i don't know if i can do this well, brother you're gonna do this yeah don't worry <laughs> we'll, we'll figure it out in the process don't worry yeah, so we're gonna make uh, some mistakes we're gonna learn some stuff <laughs> so this year i'm already three clutches in the incubator Plus, you know, I mean, like I said, obsessive compulsive disorder. Um, I'm, I'm also breeding bearded dragons now, chameleons. Um, I just got my first carpet python, jungle diamond carpet python female. Um, she's almost to that breeding weight. Um, we'll see. I've also got boas, female boas that are at breeding weight. So, like I said, we'll see. Okay, um, okay. So that's it's all not, the stuff you will be able to see on his channel. See how yes. I did that? You got to go look at his channel to get to see that stuff. But yeah, definitely some amazing animals coming up. Then, so you're you're just not going to be ball pythons. You're you're going to be all over the place with some yeah. nice animals producing some different not only animals with legs, animals without legs, um, animals that give live birth too. Boas, live birth mm -hmm. animals there too. So that's going to be interesting to watch as well. Oh. And like we, what we were discussing, you know, when we first went live, um, was Star Wars. Yeah. Um, so my boa is a BCI, and she's seven foot. So she's more than ready. Mm -hmm. So I just got a male. I want to say he's a male. Thanks for reminding me. I got to get those probes out of my wife's car. Mm -hmm. um, <laughs> So I want to say he's a male, but man, there's something going on with this dude. And I wish I just knew more about Boas because mm. I mean, he's, he's not just some regular red tail. The pattern gotcha. is just all over the place. His belly is just beautifully speckled up. I mean, it just, it's, it, it's an explosion of pattern. Gotcha. And I, and I, I've done research, and I just, I just can't put my finger on it. But I'm probably going to put him with my BCI, and uh, just, you know, see what happens. I mean, you know, gotcha. if, because I mean, there's always the pet shop. You know, I mean, shout out to uh, my business partner Sam at Sam's Flying Frog Ranch. If you're in North Florida, look us up. Mm -hmm. Um. But yeah, dude, you know, we'll we'll, we'll sell them. You know, yeah. that or I'll keep them. I mean, it exactly. Matter. Especially if it's something nice in there, you can work yeah. down the future. You start um, line breeding them to bring that out more. Yeah. Definitely worth it. If, it. if it's something there and it looks spectacular, 
definitely worth keeping holding on to them. And, and, um, and I mean, it might it might be nothing. It might just be a um, you know just a random male with just an true. eccentric pattern. But, you True, know but what? that's part of the fun of this to exactly. explore the genetics of these animals to see exactly. what the outcome of them uh, take that chance uh, that's part of the enjoyment of the hobby watching them grow watching to see if they have something in them um, getting to know the animals just getting to know their personalities sometimes is amazing um, I well, you know it's just like um, I've got I've got two individual females both double head clown pides okay just, just there are no other genetics at play okay one looks super bright almost like a pastel but it's not mm. and i know that's the clown gene because you know that 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 head of a clown will yep. will, will lighten things up very now, much so her sister looks totally different her sister i swear to god looks inchy pastel and and you can see the actual clown and she she's got the tracks of the pie okay of the het pie but as far as the clown gene when you start looking at her tail she's got like those teardrops like a clown like a visual clown would have so there's indications of both the genes in this one animal that, mm -hmm. and, but they're siblings and they look absolutely different very very cute quality animals i'm mm. I'm, I'm, I'm i can't wait, can't mm, wait. nice nice yeah. come talk definitely to go check it definitely go look at his channel for those and get to see the difference in those but Wait, let's but hit the channel let's hit another question okay um what is a goal for your youtube channel see you were just about to talk about the channel yeah. right there bam I love so yeah. <laughs> i'm not gonna say i'm good at this hosting thing but i do my <laughs> thing sometimes <laughs> oh, you're so um so my goal is honesty and is honestly I, I, I want you know number one education gotcha. education 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 i want people to learn because i promise you what i have coming out it's not all rainbows and lollipops it's not going to be me cooking and fishing and you know just hatching just sexy snakes i've got some you know harsh reality i love that i'm going to try to clip that that uh, not just hat hatching sexy snakes i've never heard anybody say it like that love Bro, I've that got a <laughs> I've got, I've got stickers. I'll send you some. Hashtag oh, okay. snakes, baby. <laughs> I love it. I look, love it. If you look at every Instagram post that I've ever posted, you will see hashtag sexy snakes. Actually, okay. look at hashtag sexy snakes. I mean, okay. I founded it, and so and nice. I've got people. I've got people wanting to use it. I'm like, go ahead, do it. <laughs> nice nice i'm oh, sorry yeah. to interrupt but yeah go ahead go ahead you know, but, but i've i've got my sticker girl i mean she's already printed up like 50 hashtag sassy snake stickers um, <laughs> um sticker mule my my new my my new gross and ball stickers honestly will be here tomorrow um, okay I'll, I'll, when when we get off this put me on the list i'll send yeah. you i get you <laughs> well like you were saying uh with your goal for your channel okay so i mean you know I, I i want people to to learn i want people to understand um i want people you know that have a fear you know say you had a a a, a douchebag brother when you were younger and and he kept throwing snakes and 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 spiders or whatever on you i want you to be able to to contact me and, and overcome that fear mm -hmm. um you know I, I mean it's exposure but like i said it's not just snakes it's fishing it's cooking it's it's florida north living in north florida you know i mean i'll be herping i've actually got scheduled um to go on a crocodile or i'm sorry an alligator dive um, oh nice i've also i'm also going shark diving this you know sometime this summer you know i've i'm going after the fourth of july um i'm going down to the keys and doing lobster diving it's not just snakes nice so, i mean it's it's living oddities it's not something that you would see every day 
we are going to be doing some just off the wall stuff. I okay. might or I might not be going down and going on a python hunt as well. Nice. So, like I said, okay. I mean it's 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 a little bit of everything, a little bit of interesting, but mostly a deal sounds like it either being out in the wild or dealing with animals. I love that it, it still encompasses each is other. It's going to be the main subject. But the thing is, it's, uh, you know, besides my collection, it's going to be dealing with other animals. You know, mm -hmm. I mean, I, I want I want to bestow my life. So let's hit another question. Last question for me, but not the last time you can see Patrick. You can definitely find him on his channel. Link down in the description. Make sure you hit that follow and subscribe on his YouTube because he's going to have a lot of videos coming out you're going to want to watch. I'm interested in myself. But our last question for you, sir, what channels help inspire you to start your channel? I'm, I'm, I'm honestly glad you asked that. Um, I got to give credit where credit's due. You know, um, I watched the Harrington brothers. I don't know if you know who that is. Robert Harrington. Mm -hmm. And um, he does deer meat for dinner. Okay. Um, you know, he's got like 400 or 500,000 followers. Um, and then his brother, Blue Gabe, Gabriel Harrington, um, he fishes a lot in Jacksonville. Okay. Um, I personally have never met him, but, you know, I've got buddies of mine that hang out with him. You know, um, these two guys started for nothing. They said, I just want to start doing YouTube. Um, you know, of, of course, they're making money hand over fist. But every time I watched them, they were always super positive. They were always connecting with me. So I know if they were doing it with me, they're doing it with everybody else. Mm -hmm. um, those are two of the major, major inspirations, but there's so many, you know, let's talk about the ball python. I mean, look at what Kabelka is doing. Look at what, um, you know, some of these other people are doing, um, 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 always evolving, mm -hmm. you know, Baker. Um, I mean, dude, they're putting out killer content. Yeah. But, Very you know, much so. but a lot of them, they leave their egos behind and they say, you know what, we're, we're 100 percent transparent. So, you know, I've watched, you know, Baker when he first started and he cooked a, you know, potentially like twenty thousand dollar clutch. Mm. Cooked them. Yeah. You know, I mean, there, there's you've got to be transparent when you're doing this because it's not all shits and giggles so true true it is hard to let let see let people see your mistakes correct. and deal with the judgment people will have after that mistakes whether it's good or bad it's hard to deal with that but he did he was up front right up front with it, it was like yeah i did this this was on this me. is what i did this is what this i did is you know, I don't need any critiques because I'm beating myself up enough. Yeah. Period. Um, yeah. And, 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 and let's let's be real honest with ourselves, okay? My final inspiration has got to be you and the suspects, man. Like, you know, shout out to every one of the usual suspects. Yeah. Um, that we All we do because, is push each other. And, and, and you know, uh, this is something that I've been wanting to do for a hot minute, you know, and I've talked to, I'm not going to say names, but I've talked to a few other people and I'm like, Hey, I've got ideas for, you know, let's do like a metal and morphs, you know, heavy music. How does that heavy music, you know, influence your snakes or mm -hmm. how does your snakes influence your music? Mm -hmm. Um, you know, so, and, and everybody's like, yeah, 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 whatever, bro. So, but when I got with the the suspects and, you know, you pushed me, you said, dude, what the deuce? <laughs> you know, and, and, and then Keys pushed me and then Derek pushed me, Greg pushed me. Everybody has pushed me to get to where I'm at. And brother, I've got so much just ridiculousness. 
we're, I mean, you know, we're going to be doing, like I said, we're going to be doing alligator dives, shark dives. Yeah. I mean, it's yeah. like I push. I know people are <laughs> tired of me pushing them, but I only push people because I see something they might not see in themselves. They might be able to do something that somebody else might not be able to do, but can have an inspiration from. Um, it also is a great way for to help this community grow, help us to become more mainstream. Look at look at um, plant growing, weed growing, how that has become a whole different monster throughout the years. Yeah. That same kind of movement involved, but it helps to get more exposure. It helps to put positive things out there for people to see to latch on to um people to become fans of like yeah. miguel is doing amazing job getting over there in mexico getting it uh getting it established over there yeah, getting man. people more interested in giving us another market to sell animals to and growing that market and getting people excited for it i just heard on his, his youtube he went from Mexico went from having one show to now having three different shows in a year, um, reptile shows. That's amazing, yeah. and that's growth, and that's what this industry needs to bring more people into it. You have to be able to show people the joy and the fun of it, um, and you do that by YouTube. One of the things that's connecting everybody. Everybody watches YouTube more than they watch TV now. That's just a reality, and if you no, can I put do. your personality out there show your beautiful animals sorry your sexy animals and you your personalities out there that's a match made in heaven that's gonna help us grow that's so i try to and you never know where you might find the next big voice from you never know who might get in front of the camera and find their calling and become bigger than what they ever thought they could be so it's a great way to get involved in the community, great way to meet friends in the community, and a great way to help grow the community. Um, it is it there is bad sides of it here and there. Nah, but that's man. all shout out to the <laughs> shout out to the haters, bro. It's all a part of it. it you gotta take the good haters. with the bad. You gotta take the good <laughs> with the bad. So I'm gonna always try to push people if I see they're even thinking about doing YouTube. I'm gonna yeah. push them to try to do that first video. Just get that first one out of your belt, because that's the that's the one you're gonna be the most nervous on. After that, it levels out a little bit. You'll still be you're nervous. Absolutely right, because I've got my <laughs> teaser out there, and I'm still sitting here. You know, I, I've got a bunch of content, and I'm looking at it going. But you know, let me tell you something. Um, I was watching um, Spartan and Proper Royals. Spartan Royals. Okay. And Proper Royals. Um, the other day when he was doing his. Um, they're live and he was doing yep. talking about you know growing and everything um and he, he he's another one that inspired me so shout out to that dude um you know and, and he said something that really caught my ear and that was it doesn't matter what it is if it's cleaning tubs film it yeah doing water changes film it because every time you get in front of that camera, you get better and better yep. and better yep. and better. All right. On that note, guys, thank you for coming. If you want to go see Patrick's channel, sorry. Now that you want to see Patrick's channel, go definitely hit the description down below. Uh, Living Oddities, follow button, follow the channel. Go watch. By the time this is out, he should have two, maybe three more videos. So definitely look at what he's doing so far. Get excited for it. Definitely follow the channel. Follow his Instagram. See what he's doing. Peach, appreciate you coming on, Patrick. Thank you so much. Thank you so much for having me, brother. It's been a pleasure. No problem. No problem. In fact, guys, I'm going to link a, uh, one of his videos at the end of this. So at the end card, go click that video and go right to his channel. But thank you guys for coming by. Thank you for guys for checking out Next Up. Um, we're going to be doing this every month now. I'm going to do a next up every month with someone new. Um, I decided to do it that way. So every second month, every second Thursday of the month, you'll have a next up episode. So if you are thinking about starting your own YouTube channel this year, or if you have already started your YouTube channel, reptile related, trying to keep it reptile related right now, we might expand later. 
but reptile related, hit me up. Let me know. I'll definitely get you on as a guest. I think we already got like three guests booked, but we are, we still got the rest of this year to go out. So definitely hit me up. But thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you guys Friday because Under a Thousand Pod is coming on Friday. I'm not sure what episode it will be because this is we're filming this late uh, way out. But check us out Fridays, uh, 7 p.m. Central Standard Time for Under a Thousand Pod. But thank you guys. I'm talking a lot, so I'm gonna say bye now. All right, everybody. Bye bye. Bye now. <laughs>